in Cáil. I suppose the Taoiseach set out his targets yesterday when he spoke in the House on this subject of 20,000 bills in 2018, 5,000 of those for local authorities or acquisitions or part fives, and he reiterated that it is the government's intention to use the local authorities more. Now, I'd like to hear from you, Minister, today what that actually means in real terms, where specifically those 5,000 homes will be delivered, and in particular the 3,800 direct bills, and are they going to be completed units in 2018, and are they going to be in areas with high-pressure council housing waiting lists? Because I look at my own county of Meath with a population of some 200,000, a commuter belt county that has huge housing, social and employment pressures, and they've got to 5,000 people on the housing waiting list, 1,500 of those in my own hometown. And if the Taoiseach's words of using the local authorities are to be true, can I ask how is this going to be uh, in a county like Mead, whose problems in adjoining Dublin are pronounced? I'm sure you're aware, given the fact that the council owns one undeveloped field, one in, in the entire county, and which is currently in uh, a greenfield site. And this 22-acre site has been earmarked for development under the activation fund. But the price bill that's on your desk for these uh, awaiting approval is 13 million for these 42 units. 13 million. So it's working at 310,000 euro per unit, a good 100,000 uh, above what it should be, because the reimbursement to the council for the site acquisition is factored into this. Now, this has taken over a decade to get here. We're not there yet. And when we do, it comes with a price tag of 13 million. So my point is, if this is a prime example of what's happening in commuter counties like Mead, for a mere 42 homes, how realistic is a 3,800 target nationwide? And secondly, and this is the critical point, how is the department helping counties like Mead, Kildare and Wicklow in actually acquiring land? Because the very basic commodity you need to provide homes is, and it seems to be forgotten in this chamber by many people, is the basic commodity of land in locations where people actually want to live besides schools, amenities and shops. And so when I look at this piece of land in Navan, the realisation is this is it because there's no more land on the books of the local authorities. And so I think they do need help in identifying uh, strategic sites. And finally, Cahir, look, conscious that this is a Sinn Féin motion and remarks were made last Thursday about tax and that tax should not be reduced, according to Sinn Féin. Uh, you know, that is quite a statement, considering every Sinn Féin councillor in the country has sought to reduce property tax in councils by 15% year on year and remove millions from councils where this money would be spent on housing. So would you ever stop the double talk and the spoof? If you have a policy principle of what Deputy Macdonald has said of not giving people back a few measly euro per words, but keeping it for public services, that is fine and that is admirable. But don't think you're fooling anyone with that on one hand and at the same time sticking up posts going Sinn Féin councillors are the only one who will cut your tax and expect the books to balance. Because they won't. And you guys need to be honest with yourselves, honest with the public, and you all need to write the Santi for Christmas and get calculators because the books don't balance. Oh and of course, on how to use them, on how to use them. Because taking millions out of the public exchequer is leading to the housing problems that we have. And this is typical from Sinn Féin of shouting people down because when it's exposed that they're taking the millions out of the exchequer and leading to the housing problems, you will have an opportunity to speak. It's part of the course. It's part of the course. Please shout me down because they're taking millions out of the exchequer and they don't want to realise that they're actually contributing to the housing crisis and actually making people homeless. Thanks very much, Shaskin.